A couple of months ago when I bought my Nintendo Switch, I bought three games to go alongside it. One of those games was Super Mario Odyssey. I had seen nothing but fuss over how incredible this game was, and I wanted a little piece of that sweet Mario pie. Upon completing the game, I can understand why this game is so loved. With that in mind, join me as we explore why Super Mario Odyssey is the essential Switch game. Okay, so I don't think any game can be perfect. A game can be a 10 out of 10, but that doesn't necessarily make it perfect. There are always rough edges, always kinks to be rolled out that prevent a game from reaching perfection. I'm sat here right now, and I can't think of a single thing that this game gets wrong. Well, actually I can, but I'll get on to that much later. Let's talk about how the game looks. The graphics look really good actually. I don't know the frame rates and the resolutions and whatnot, but it looks an absolute dream, so that's awesome. But then we have the art style and the aesthetic level design, and good lord, every level is a joy to look at. The animation is top tier. Every level looks remarkably different from the last. The variety, just in aesthetic design alone, is startling. We've got forest kingdoms with trees and stuff. We've got ice kingdoms with snow and stuff. We've got beach kingdoms with sand and stuff. I was always in eager anticipation of getting to the next area because I just knew I would be exploring yet another beautiful world. That's aesthetic design, but what about level design? Well, it's clear that Nintendo is the best in the business at platformers because this is outstanding. I felt encouraged to go out and explore all the little nooks and crannies because there would almost always definitely be a power moon to find. You want to find all the moons, not only because you need to complete the level or because you need a certain amount to unlock secret worlds, but because they're just shiny and you get a feeling of satisfaction once you complete a puzzle or pull off a platforming combo. It's great. It, the moon does a little dance and everything. It's fantastic. I want all the moons. The levels are so jam-packed with things to do. No matter which direction you walk, there's something to do. You'll randomly stumble across hidden levels all the time, and it makes exploring these kingdoms to their fullest something you simply want to do. There's just so much going on in every kingdom that it's incredibly difficult to remain focused on your main objective, which is a good thing. New Donk City is absolutely the best kingdom though. Gosh, what a level in every capacity. That is just a fantastic Fantastic level, one of the best levels I've ever played in anything. How about the gameplay itself? It's fantastic. The movement is so clean. You really do feel in control of every step Mario takes. And that feeling of safety that comes from having the confidence and how you move the character makes the moment to moment gameplay all the more fluid. The combos you can pull off with your hat, I mean, oh my goodness, if you know what you're doing here and take the time to figure out how the movement works down to a T, you will be able to do some absolutely ridiculous stuff. You have so many simple movement abilities that I know I'll never be able to learn the complex ones, but it is there to be mastered if you choose to do so. But the main section that Mario Odyssey truly excels at is the variety of its core mechanic. Throwing your cap on an enemy or even just something that stood there chilling will morph Mario into that thing, giving you their abilities. Absolutely none of these feel alike in any capacity. You'll steal their strengths and weaknesses in order to earn hidden power moons. <laughs> but it's the sheer scale of these captures that struck me the most. From morphing into a tiny, pathetic goomba, look at him, the mug, to taking control of a goddamn T-Rex. I mean, good lord, this is incredible. The sense of discovery evolves from where I can explore and how can I get there into what can I capture and what can I do with it. Each kingdom mostly delivers a new mechanic to you, but these capture things mean that you'll be learning at least five new mechanics each kingdom. Most games would choose one of these mechanics and centre a whole game around it. But Mario Odyssey is drunk on ambition, and after feeling like a mechanic has run its course, you'll never see it again, and you'll become enchanted with a new shiny toy. Now let's talk about difficulty. This game isn't very hard. Well, it isn't hard if you want it to be. You could easily gather enough moons to finish the game without really testing yourself, but there's a fun in that. Some of these moons require a really complicated series of movements to pull off. For completionists, this game can be as difficult as you choose it to be. How many moons do you collect? The higher the number, the harder the game. Boss fights exist and they're awesome, if a bit simple. I only died to two of the bosses because they really aren't difficult and they were both the Bowser ones. 
most of them just have a singular gimmick that is really easy to figure out. And once you understand the gimmick, the battle becomes trivial. They were a lot of fun to complete, but at the same time, they won't challenge you all that much. Now, there are, I'd say, two areas where this game falls short. The first is that when you're in control of the tank, the aiming sucks and it's way too sensitive, but seriously, who gives a damn about the tank controls you use for 10 minutes? Not me, that's for sure. The other area is the story. It's not very good. It's far too conventional, which is to be expected from a Mario game. Now, chill your goddamn beans! I know, these games are not renowned for their story. There isn't a single person on the planet who bought this game and played it for the story. So in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter. But from a personal standpoint, I would just love it if we got a Mario game in the future that attempted to be just as ambitious in its storytelling as it is in its gameplay design. But as I said, story isn't why you play a game like this, so who gives a damn? Super Mario Odyssey is exceptional. The only area it falls short in is in an area Nintendo and its audience don't care about. Every reason you would have to buy a Mario game, they absolutely nailed it here. Beautiful levels, intricate design, smooth movement, varied gameplay mechanics, an incentive to explore every corner of every level, it's all here. And it's brilliant. And that is why Super Mario Odyssey is the essential Nintendo Switch game. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, then please consider leaving a like, as it would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more content from me, then make sure to subscribe. I have videos just like this one every single Friday. Have a nice day and good bye.